Welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Remix. I'm Taylor. And I'm Katie. Here are some announcements. There will be an open gym on Tuesday mornings at 7.30 for intramurals. The first FCA meeting of the semester will be Wednesday, January 23rd at 7.30 a.m. in room 401. The LJH Polar Bear Plunge Team is still accepting members. Stop by Ms. Tholen's room 407 to get the info to sign up. The next A-plus training for 9th graders will be held on Wednesday, February 20th, and will be during the school day. This 45-minute training allows you to begin your tutoring hours for the A-plus program. Sign up in the counseling office today to reserve your seat. See Mr. Anderson for more details. Please stand and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Taylor, I heard whispers that James DeWeese was in our school. The keyboardist from My Chemical Romance? Yeah, I wonder why he was here. Well, let's go over to Avery and Asma for more information on Mr. DeWeese. Hi everyone, we're here on stage with da James DeWeese, who happens to know stages very well because he's a member of the popular alternative rock band My Chemical Romance. But he's also very familiar with this particular stage because he was in fact a student here at LJH. So, welcome back. <laughs> I know, it's my first time back in, what, 20 something years? <laughs> yeah. Well, so, um, I know that you graduated from Liberty High School and you went on to get a career yeah, in so, music. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I went to college for two years and then started touring with a band my sophomore year of college. And I was a music major, but the kind of music I was majoring in was very different from the music I was touring with. And the my advisor in the music department didn't really understand why I would want to abandon classical music and do rock and roll. So left college and then just started going on tour and uh, toured for a long time. Like, you know, it's been basically almost 20 years of touring, so. Wow, so um, was there like a special way that you and your band met? Uh, you know, it's we met going to watch other bands play. Like, uh, we'd meet, and I met the guys from the, the first band I played in, in Kansas City, at a record store. We went to watch a band play, and just kind of, you know, everybody liked the same styles of music, and they were, at that time, it was very underground, and it wasn't popular, so it was kind of like the kids who liked it would all become friends, because we were the ones who would go watch the other bands play, and then all of us had our own different bands in Kansas City. And we would support one another by, we were the only ones who would go to each other's shows. So everybody became kind of like a family in that sense. Yeah. Do you have any final advice for students who are here today that also want to pursue a career in music someday? Yeah, well, it's, it's you know, practice. Um, don't be afraid to play shows because that's, you know, when we first started, we spent almost 300 days out of the year on tour playing shows for no money, riding around in a van, sleeping on people's floors that we'd meet at the show, which can get scary, but at the same time, trust your band members to make sure that you're going to make the right decisions. But, uh, you know, we, we did everything independently from, you know, we, there weren't TV shows to make people famous, and there weren't, you know, major label like Warner Brothers and Universal and stuff weren't knocking on the doors of bands from Kansas City. So we kind of went out and did it all on our own. And we're happy that we did it that way because it really made us appreciate what we had to sacrifice to get there. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thanks it for having me. It's been great to meet a real Liberty legend. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks so much. I'm so when I play on the Liberty Girls basketball team. We're doing pretty good. We've only lost about three games so far. Uh, we watched South Valley play in their tournament. I don't think we have very much to worry about tomorrow. Uh, we're all really excited about tomorrow because we have to be South Valley. Like the whole team is really excited about it. Uh, come support the Lady Legends tomorrow in the North Gym at 4. Come support the Lady Legends at basketball in the North Gym at 4 o'clock against South Valley. Well, that's all we have for this Wait, week. look at this. What? It says that we have a clip to show for the Marcus Lucas interview. Really? What's it about? 
and some advice for students and athletes. Do you have any advice for future athletes that might want to follow the same path as you? Um, I just say um, write your goals down. Um, that was something that I had to learn. I mean, um, like something that my grandma told me, and she was just like, goals are just dreams if you don't write them down. And I mean, it's it's cool to chase after your dreams, but you got to have goals, set goals that you want to you know attain and. So I think that that's one of the main things that, that I can say is, you know, just write your goals down and then go get them. I mean, you do everything you can and don't let people tell, tell you that you can't, you know. No big backpacks, only string backpacks. And especially no cell phones. Welcome to your weekly sports report. I'm Samira. And I'm Soliana. Liberty's Boy B team won against Park Hill South last Monday and Friday with the high scores coming from Xavion Williams. The Liberty freshman boys basketball team, A, oh my god, I jacked it. <laughs> I jacked it. Okay. The Liberty freshman boys basketball A team beat Park Hill South on Friday night. Michael Hughes led the way with 12 points. Hal Tyson scored 11, while Landon McKee and Mason Sturge each chipped in with 9. The Liberty North Freshman's Girl A team had a win over Lady Hornets of North Kansas City High School on Friday. The Lady Eagle B team ran out of time and fell to the Lady Hornets. The Lady Eagles swim and dive fell short to Lee Summit North, losing 110 to 203. LH Liberty High School freshman girls basketball team won their first round game in the Blue Springs A tournament. The Lady Jays defeated Lee Summit 43-14. Liberty wrestlers lost to Lee Summit Tuesday night 28-36. This week's sports athlete of the week is Max Martin. He plays on the 8th grade boys basketball team. I've been playing basketball for 9 years. My least favorite part about basketball is sprints at practice. My favorite part about basketball is winning after a really close game. Usually during practice we just run through plays, work on like individual stuff, and then we'll scrimmage, condition, and then that's okay. basically it. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we have for this week. Next time.